Hello guys, welcome to another fixing video. As you see guys, on my hand I have a broken Redmi Note 6 Pro. It's not my phone, it's my friend's phone. And his little 2 years old daughter dropped this phone from a 4th floor of the building. After the drop, the phone stopped working, its display completely shattered, also the phone bent. So today in this video, I will try to fix the phone. So guys, let's get started. Before starting the video, let's talk about today's video sponsor PCBWay. If you guys want to make your own printed circuit board like bare PCB, assembled PCB, flexible PCB or advanced multi-layer PCB like this phone PCB for your project, now you can make it easily using PCBWA. Click the link on the description below, it will take you on PCBWA.com, there you can order your own custom PCB, they took only 24 hours to build PCB and ship all over the world and if you are ordering it for first time, it's absolutely free. Before opening the phone, I put some plastic tape over the broken skin to protect my hands from the broken glass. Next we are going to remove the sim card tray from the phone which I always forget. So make sure you remove the sim card tray from the phone before opening the phone. Next using a pry tool like this we are going to open the back cover of the phone. This kind of pry tool is pretty cheap, it's $1 or $2. I will leave a link of the pry tool in the description below so guys check the description. This is Xiaomi Mi A1 and its back cover is screwed with the phone frame. Newer phone don't have any screws, probably they want to save some money. <laughs> After few minutes of struggle, I able to open the back cover. The fingerprint sensor is attached with the back cover and connected with the logic board using a fragile flex cable, which can easily damage while opening the back cover, so be careful. To disconnect the fingerprint sensor, display and the battery, we need to remove two metal plates which hold by three Phillips head screw. Now we can disconnect the fingerprint sensor from the logic board and the back panel is completely detached from the phone and as you see guys the back panel is little bit bent and we can fix it later. Also as you see guys the phone frame bent a lot we need to fix that too. This is the display connector, we disconnect it. First we need to disconnect the battery connector which I forget. So here is the battery connector, I disconnect it from the motherboard. Here we have total 6 screws which we need to unscrew to remove the charging module and the speaker. On the right side we have the vibrator motor and left side is the speaker. We don't need to remove the charging module so it's on the board. Next we are going to remove the battery. So here is the pull tap. It's a special kind of dual sided tape that loses its adhesive when we pull it. We carefully need to pull the tape else it will be hard to remove the battery. I successfully able to remove one pull tab but another one torn from the middle so I am not able to remove that pull tab. Then I use a pry tool to remove the battery. It's not a good idea to remove battery like this way. It might damage the battery but I don't have any other better option.
the battery is little bit bent but it's not a big issue As you see guys the frame also bent from the middle so I put some pressure to steady it but I realize it will be easy to steady the frame after removing the broken LCD this flex cable is connected with the LCD and glued with the frame The LCD is glued with the frame. To remove the LCD from the frame, we will heat up the LCD around 100 degrees centigrade and it will soften the glue which help disassemble the LCD from the frame. After heating up the LCD, we simply use a plastic spray tool and insert it in between the frame and LCD. A broken LCD is easy to remove from the frame compared to a non-broken LCD. LCD removed. Now it will be easy to straight the bent frame. Here on the LCD nose there is a little speaker grill and it is still on the frame with some broken glass. This is the little air pierce grill, we need to place it on new replacement LCD panel. I bought a new aftermarket LCD online around $15. The quality is quite good, the original LCD price is around $30 to $40 but uh, at this price point I think this is a good LCD. I tested the LCD before installation. If we find any problem, we can contact the seller for refund. But after installation, if we find there is some problem with LCD or touch, then we can't claim refund. So it's always a good idea to check the LCD before installation. I place the earpiece grill on the new LCD. Focus. As you see guys, uh, on this LCD, I place the earpiece grill that I removed from previous broken LCD. Next, remove the adhesive and broken glass from the frame and clean it for new LCD installation.
clean the new display now everything looks good Next we are going to glue the LCD with the frame using E8000 clear adhesive. Now I am applying the glue on all side of the frame to attach the LCD. Apply the glue like this way and if you put a little bit excessive glue that will not be an issue because later you can remove the glue using some alcohol. Within couple of minutes we need to place the LCD on the frame else the glue will start to dry. Place the LCD on the frame properly and secure it using few rubber bands and then I use few clothes clip to put pressure. It took near about 48 hours to completely cure the glue. A few moments later. After few hours later, I remove those rubber bands and clips, then clean the extra glue. All the glue is cleaned. A brand new LCD is fixed with the frame. Now we are going to connect the LCD connector with the logic board. As I don't have the pull tab, I am going to secure this battery on this phone using a dual sided tape. The battery is little bit bent so let's try to steady it. After properly securing the battery using a dual sided tape on the frame, we are going to screw the vibrator and speaker module on the phone. Here we have total 6 flip set screw, so screw them one by one. With the finger fit sensor, let's connect it with the logic board. And finally, we are going to connect the battery with the logic board. Next we are going to screw those two metal cover to secure those flex cable connector. Everything is done, now let's put the back cover and turn the phone on. As you see guys the phone is turned on. Let's clean the phone for any dust or any fingerprint. The phone looks like a brand new phone and the touch screen is working properly. I tested it 
so everything camera speaker everything is working properly so guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video make sure you smack a big thumbs up on this video and if you guys have any question any suggestion let me know in the comment section below and i will meet with you on my next video till then tata bye bye